back to Motorsport Manager, Simon here. And uh, last episode finished with a bit of a driver self-harm going on. So we had Ribeiro have a dodgy neck, which he's now got for the next eight weeks, which leaves him at his fitness at two, which I'm super worried about. So I might... I don't know if I should, like, keep him in this place or not. Volkov isn't really any better. But I wonder if it's worthwhile benching Ribeiro... Getting Volkov in, <laughs> maybe not with the consistency at five, um, but yeah, at least he can overtake. Maybe that's a thing. And it gives us, what, a million? Nice. Whilst Ribeiro is recovering. So who knows? Who knows? Um, I'm going to think of that throughout this. Now, the thing with Lily Drinkwater, I had that shock, didn't I, at the end of last episode where her stats went down? She's a Milan expert. It's okay. It's okay. So everything goes back down to again um, afterwards. So she's back down to just being above four stars, but still being a star. So yay and happy for that. Feedback back to 13. No, that's a shame for us. So anything else that's going on? I'm still going to be able to race, but I'm not going to be myself. Fair enough. Uh, maybe we will keep him. Who knows? Who knows? Sanjay Moody has been telling reporters you're interested. Yeah, he's interesting, but I'm not. Am I looking for him? He's 30. In fact, let's take a little look at Moody. Is he even... See, his stats have peaked, so that's as good as he will ever be, which is worse than what our current two drivers are. So I'm all right. Thanks, Sanjay. Um, plus, you're trying to rock out that Vandal, and that Vandal is a little pig stain, so perhaps no. <laughs> uh, right, the car repair is done. Let's dive in here. So the big thing here for us is to get this epic gearbox in, uh, and since Ribeiro is uh, dead on the inside, uh, on the neck at least, uh, this is certainly going to go to. Let's go to the fit screen, you idiot. There we go. There we go. So that's going to go to Lily. This one now goes to Ribeiro, which is great. So he's content. How is Lily's car better than mine? Mm. Fair enough. Uh, we'll give you the next upgrade, whatever that may be. Um, now, there was a couple of other things that I also wanted to quickly look at. This is all going to be about getting that gearbox done, which, to be fair, one day after the race, that will get us up quite nicely. So that makes me happy. Um, so I wanted to look at the pit crew. That was it, because we've had some good people arrive. So we've got uh, this guy, Mr. Abram. So I want to hire him. But we're going to do it and get rid of Mr. Groob, which I know will cost a bit. But again, that does help. There he is, straight in there on the refueling, which is great. Um, I'm going to leave those two for the time being and we'll keep going with that. Problems with another driver. Ebony Tyler is an absolute nightmare. No, she constantly put it on in the Twitter press. She now says, um, Oh. Get your head down. Personality. <clears throat> Do I want you to be aggressive? What's your current stats? Drivers. So overtaking is already at 20. Consistency is already at 20. I'd rather you... Oh, your focus is down. So I would much rather you be a hard worker. Where's my mail? There's my mail. Thank you very much. Now, what does that give us lovely Lily? Hard worker, plus fitness, plus 15. Oh, okay. We have fitness was at 20 anyway, so that's fine. Um, 
a new sponsor's on the table. Let's take a wee look. Sixth or better, eighth or better, ninth or better. Hmm. We've got this second or better, thirteenth or better. It's going to have to be the sixth or better, really, isn't it? Because that's that is genuinely what I go for. So let's accept that. So that gives us a little bit more, and that does actually punch us a bit more up the table in the sponsors, because I was getting a bit worried about that, that we were lagging a smidgy bit behind. Okay, here we go. So that's all good. Thoughts about the design center. I think that he, we have the rendu of the rest of the grid. <laughs> Good. Okay, this is the great rear wing that we're going to be adding on. Now, do we... Hmm, I kind of feel like we should go like that. Because if we go like that... Yeah. Let's see. So then we can. Um, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? The rear wing. And let's get rid of these suspensions. Let's get on that rear wing. But I do want to push that up to there. Because that rear wing, I think, is going to be an issue during the race on on that merit alone. Um, which then makes me go, oh, hang on, actually, where does that put us on rear wing territory? Still third. So, no, let's keep going. So, for me, this now becomes doink. Hmm. Doink. Doink, doink. Oh, I suppose plays plus ninety. Oh, requires simulation at level three. Okay, so that kind of does peek us out there, which is fine. So it is a massive, <laughs> it's a massive rear wing. But I'm happy to spend that extra time, essentially getting that sorted and done. And I'd almost say maybe we should do that, but I, I want that that extra 5% on reliability is going to be crucial to make sure that that is ready in time and sorted for the next race. So again, that puts us at minus three grand, but we're playing to our strengths and making sure that our rear wing is absolutely spadulike. Just spud you like in a smithy language. <laughs> Flores wins. Flores is really the cream of a crop in there, isn't she? Oh, she costs a lot, though. <laughs> costs a bit too much for my liking. Shen Kui. Oh, you always say about financial management concerns. It's okay, Petta. It's okay. Spec gearboxes on the agenda. Ooh. That would be to our improvement, I guess. But it does feel a bit of a shame considering that we've already got spec engines. Mm. Warning, you have an injured driver who could stay home. He could stay home, but he's still going to be better than Vitali. So let's keep him going. Let's still look for a top six, because if Mr. Ibero can't do it, then I would say little Miss Drinkwater can. So this is about the gearbox, this is about the front wing, of which we've got an okay front wing. 
Fuel burn high, tire wear low. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, what's the state of the car in terms of parts? So that comes out as a 62. And a 74. But that will improve as we go through practice. So that will be all right. And we can always try to do an improvement in performance for the rear wing if we need to. But traditionally, we, we've kind of been a bit meh around this circuit because it's been gearbox related. But now that we've actually kind of caught back up again gearbox wise, there's potential here to not be too terrible. So let's see how we get on. Um, Then 2019. Okay. So, I've forgotten how many laps this race is. <laughs> um, hmm. Pit lane cuts off quite a bit as well, doesn't it? Right, whilst whilst we're here then, let's go aggressive. More aggressiver than usual. Let's go for the softs. Because if the tire wear is low. To be fair, they're changing compounds as they go round. Oh, is that tire temperature going up? Yes, it is. Very first, fantastic. Just the right aero. Great. Handling is superb. Garlic and herb. Go for faster than Ribeiro. Is this, is this showing the sign of his dodgy neck? Tire temps are going up. to level two anyway. Ah, oh, we're not the only one. Sirikov and Sharp are doing the same thing. A one, two. Oh, how I wish that would be real. Right, come on in, gang. Let's do that because if that gets worse and if that goes down to an okay then we know to move the gear ratio so that's fine. Um, that has dropped much quicker than that should have been. But okay. Great, great, excellent. Okay. 96. Well that's why that's gone well. Lovely stuff. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave that where it is, to be honest. And back out you go, Volkovani. Ooh, back on Spencer in their stride now. Wow, six tenths faster. And they're on slower tyres. That is the gulf that we've got to get if we need to win this championship. Which is worrying, because that's huge. 
And I think, what are we on? Year six of this game? Oh, excellent, we got to level three. Super dupe. Yeah. Oh, it's a Steinman and a Rossini, and then a big gap back to the others. Double Chariot at the back, double Van Dort at the back. That's interesting. Where's Kirov? They're being held back by their driver duo, I think. Oh, Rain. Hockey Darky. Oh, wow, Rain all the way through. Now, I bet I'm going to look at the grid. Inters. Yeah, thought as much. Bollocks. We'll go for soft and we'll go for race. But that is going to um, cause me troubles, essentially. Yeah, I'll just, ooh, we'll just have to fuel it up and see how, see how we can um, get again. Oh, good, that did get up 94%. Great. And by the time that cut, if that goes on lap 32 immediately down to dry, it won't matter because actually we're already um, uh, sorted anyway. So let's see how we get on. Ribeiro, don't go too much, please, mate. I need you well and sorted. Ooh, good start. Angie has got that first lap hero. Oh, who's that that's gone off? That is Cruz. And then wide. And that is Ribeiro up to a lovely 11. Off the bat, trying to get around the van door of Moody. I guess so. Great stuff. Can you hold it? It's gone a bit wide. Uh, no. Could work out nicely here. Okay, right, go around the outside. That's going to lead us up to. Floridi, ah, and Masiella. Oh, back down the order we go tumbling. Maybe down to 17th. The issue here is that we're going to have to do this on pure pace rather than anything else because we've got nothing else. <laughs> and that's the issue that I find with the circuit is that you get pushed out on the wrong side, you just go tumbling down. And it's like the AI are able to get round this course much better than whatever I put my car into. It's a weird one. So, let's just see how this goes, because I think this is just going to be a, a watch it and see approach. And this could well be the race where it doesn't really transpire well for us at all. Despite or in spite, ooh, dropping right back there. It's this kind of like back and forth issues that we have where our car is fast but not necessarily fast enough to just be able to drive around everyone like the current modern day Mercedes, uh, Ferrari and Red Bull around the rest of the field. We're a bit like early halves of 2018 and uh, because the season where I'm recording this now and I'm doing this in a massive batch of episodes. Uh, we've not started the 2019 season in F1 at the time of my recording. So for me this is again just keeping as much tabs on this as possible <clears throat> so that we can jump everyone in the pits. because we just don't have the ability to overtake anyone. We don't really seem to be that fast either. And I thought we'd be a little bit better than this. Well, let's make up some ground. 
But Jeremy Woodford is leading. That is how screwed up this race is at the moment. So we'll get down to the driest portion of this race in a second. We've saved an absolute ton of fuel. seems able to overtake in the slightest round here. So let's just steam this on and see how we get on. Oh, Jeremy Woodford's pulling away slightly. Oh, it's going to go dry right at the end. So when's that? About 36-ish? So this does kind of make sense to pit now. No, I'm just going to fuel up that, to be honest. get straight out. Then you can go another lap. Mistake on the tyres again. Can we stop that please? So I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to do it so that they don't have to pit before it gets to lap 32, but I think we'll have to anyway. So there we go, a couple more have come in early. I think this could be absolutely perfect for what we need and want. So that's Woodford right up ahead. He was leading the race. That is how much this is going to help us out. So that's us ahead of Massiella, both of us. Close down Woodford. Okay, 11 and 12. Second and third of those who have and haven't pitted. Those lot will be going as slow as ever. They're trying to do it so that they only have to pit one more. They're going to go into dries too quickly. Wow, some more are going around again. They've really got good... <laughs> they've got good, <laughs> good ability. I'm good in that. Second and third. El Sortido. <clears throat> so now we're getting into the heavy run, which will only last for a smidge. Oh, Johnny Navarro cut a corner, has a penalty. That'll be a good five or six seconds or so. But again, just as before. That seemed to work really well for people last time, but that became a thing. I dearly, dearly, dearly love for us to both be able to just push through and take the lead here. Come on. Oh, I can't quite do it though. I 
can't believe Jeremy Woodford though. Barely scored all season. They just don't seem to quite understand the AI where they should and shouldn't pass. That's the problem. Okay, so we're now down to the final three laps or so. I kind of feel like if we're going to pit, can we do it? We could do it now. Onto inters. Fill you up with fuel. You'll be last. but that will get you home. I think. Here, and you can just push to be honest. Oh, Lily's really dropping back. See, again, it's it's them that's pushing, not us, if that makes sense. So, the idea here is that we'll be able to re catch back up again. fill up though, do you? You can go there. Woodford beat us. Still think we're going to be okay. in straight onto dry tyres which is fine to a decent enough window. Let's keep going. I 
Okay, Ribeiro in. I think. Oh, this might not have worked for us at all. Super softs. Go, go, go. Mm. Not worked, guys, has it? <clears throat> oh, come on, a mistake on the tyres. Oh, what a disaster. We found around the circuit. You can't overtake! Well, we can't anyway. Oh, hurrah, the past cruise. Okay, another one down. But it's too late in the day. Past Woodford, who was on for a win until recently. Oh, what a disaster, disaster. But Worthwhile to live in there now. had a good run this season so far. We was due a terrible race. The issue is that Panther had a good one and got Navarro on the podium. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind indeed. So, yeah. So they were right, actually, in the end, to keep out. Even though we got the short-term win by leapfrogging everyone to get to the front of the field, we'd gone too early. Um, and look, Navarro, 20-second time penalty, and it still worked to his advantage. It makes it, it makes more sense to just cut corners. <laughs> Guane nearly scoring for Van Dort, but not quite. Catano in there. Steinman didn't have a great race. Windsor scored some points, though. Panther got a few in, Rossini. Oh, Rosato Corsa. I, do you know what? I said all year long, a crazy result will will sort that out. And that has gone to Team Rosato Corsa instead of Team Kirov. And if Jeremy Woodford had have clinged on there for a good result, that would have worked out nicely for him. But it's not. So Koto goes up to eighth by head of Zoe Sharp. Johnny Navarro gets lots in there for Panther. Edda gets some in for Catano. That's really helped them. Lau scores now 10 points for Rosato Corsa, and I think that will move them ahead. I know, to eat. Well, yeah, it does. So that is changes of position. I don't know why it's not showing the ups and downs there, but Rosato Corsa have gone ahead of Van Dort and Chariot. Kirov are now stuck on their own at the bottom. Uh, Catano have nearly caught up to Panther in their little squabble over fifth. But Windsor have kept ahead of them. Then it's VLAN, us there, all on our own. So not too bad in the overall picture. That will not impress our boss, though. <laughs> never mind, never mind. 
That race has always been difficult for us, though. It's never gone well at Spa. Arden, sorry. You know which one I mean. Oh, a new trait. What's happened there? Rivalry with driver, Zoe Sharp. <laughs> uh -oh. Fitness down to two. Happiness has gone down. Marketability has gone down. We made some dosh though. I remember that for next time because if we're going to have more dramas next year with that circuit, I'll just go for a lower sponsorship objective. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music, and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.